This is number 19 of the first test. In this one, we're going to be looking at inequalities. Here we have two symbols, less than and greater than. So just for a quick review, this is a comparison. We're comparing one thing to another. Uh, a nickel is less than a dime. A quarter is greater than a penny. So for here we have a bunch of fractions with an inequality. So this is saying less than, greater than, greater than, and less than. So what we're going to do is we're going to check each one of these. Now, we could put these things into decimals, but I want to do a review of converting fractions so they have the same denominator. So we're going to look for something called the least common multiple, the L L C M. So the least common multiple for these two numbers is 28. 7 times 4 is 28, and 7 times 4 is 28. So for here, we have 3 and 6, and 3 is a multiple of 6. So the LCM for here, the least common multiple is 6. For here, we have 8 and 10. The least common multiple for these is 40. 5 times 8 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. And then the last one we have is 5 and 9. The least common multiple of 5 and 9 is 45. 9 times 5 is 45, and 5 times 9 is 45. So let's set these up. We're going to compare each of each fraction on the left side to each fraction on the right side. So we have 3 over 4, and on this side we have 5 over 7. So we want to turn the 4 into a 28. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 4 by 7. And again, we're doing 7 7 over 7, which is 1. So we're going to multiply th this fraction by 1. It's going to look different, but it's going to have the same value. So seven, 4 times 7 is 28, and 3 times 7 is 21. So that's the first fraction. Over on this side, we have to multiply the 7 by 4. If we do the bottom by 4, we also have to do the top by 4, because 4 over 4 is 1. And 7 times 4 is 28. 5 times 4 is 20. So we look at this, 21 is bigger than 20, so this one won't work. So 21 over 8 is greater than 20 over 28, so this one here is not, can't be right. So let's look at the next one. So now we have 2 over 3 times 2 over 2, because we're going to have to turn this 3 into a 6. So 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. On this side, we don't have to do anything because it's already done, because the denominator is already 6. So 4 over 6 is less than 5 over 6. So here we can see that this one is not right. So let's uh, look at the next one. So we have 5 over 8, and we're going to turn the 8 into a 40. So we have to multiply it by a 5 over 5, because 5 over 5 is 1. And again, I just want to remind you, when you multiply a number by 1, it might look different, but it's still the same value. So 8 times 5 is 40. 
5 times 5 is 25. On this side, we have 6 over 10. So to turn the 10 into a 40, we have to multiply it by 4 over 4. So 10 times 4 is again 40. 6 times 4 is 24. So 25 over 40 is less than 24 over 40. I mean, it's greater than. So we say, up. So this is the right answer because 25 over 40 is the same as 5 over 8, and 6 over 10 is the same as 24 over 40, so this is the right answer. You might as well do the last one, because just to get the practice in. So we have 4 over 5 times 9 over 9. 5 times 9 is 45. 4 times 9 is 36. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm doing the multiplication kind of quick. Um, learning the multiplication table is just a matter of practice. On this side, we have 2 over 9. To turn the 9 into a 45, we have to multiply it by 5. 5 over 5 is 1, so we're multiplying this by 1 to find the least common multiple so they have the same denominators. So. 9 times 5 is 45, 2 times 5 is 10. So 36 is obviously greater than 10, so this one is wrong. So again, C is the right answer. I did those extra ones just to give you a little extra practice.